Hi guys, welcome to Be Thrifty. My name is Jasenia, and today I am participating in another Look for Less challenge. And this is hosted by Yami, the Latina next door. And her co-host this month is Yelena from Blondie Next Door. And I will have the link to their channels down below in my description, as well as the playlist for everyone who participates in this challenge. And I'm really excited because I love participating in this challenge. I always have a lot of fun. And if you do too, please give this video a like and remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my next videos. With that said, let's get started. Alright guys, here's what I will be using for this look for less. I will be using some brown paper and some white paper. I got these a little while ago. These are from the craft store. And I've had them for a while, so I will be using them for this project, as well as some Mod Podge, some chalk paint in white, and my hot glue gun as well. And I will also be using this very large frame that I got from my neighbor. He was getting rid of it, and I picked it up for free. So I didn't have to pay anything at all for it. And I don't even hate the forest motif that it's got going on. I kind of like that. But I am going to change it into this one here. This one is from Pottery Barn. And they have it listed for $319. It's on sale. And I'm going to make mine for way, way less. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start by making the palm leaf. And for this, I'm going to use the white paper, and I'm spreading it out right now. And, and what I'm doing here is I'm cutting it, and then I will cut it again and attach it to make it look wider rather than longer, if that makes sense. I want the palm leaf to be as wide as possible, because once I start to make my folds, it's going to shrink, and it's, it's going to get a lot smaller. So I want it to be as wide as possible. I'm using clear tape to tape the seams together and I'm using a very long piece of tape to cover the entire seam from top to bottom and, uh, and I'm taping both sides of the paper. Now I'm folding the paper in half to create my palm design and I want to make sure that it is symmetrical. Next I'm going to make the folds for the palm leaf and for this I'm going to use a long ruler to help me keep the folds straight and uniform in size. I'm holding the fold down with my finger so I can slide the ruler out and then I can smooth out the fold with my hands. And working on the floor like this was actually very hard because it was hard on my back and it was hard on my knees. And I don't recommend that you work on the floor if you don't have to. Um, my work table was occupied with a different project that I am working on uh, simultaneously. So I had to take this one to the floor. And I also needed the space to make my palm leaf as wide as I possibly could make it. So that's why I'm on the floor, but I certainly do not recommend it. It is really tough on your body. And here's a close-up of what I'm doing. I'm almost done with this side, and then I'll start on the other side of my palm leaf. and this is what I was going for it looks like an accordion so now I'm going to continue with the other side and here I realize that I don't need the stick anymore because the paper is small enough for me to handle so now I'm going to work on the frame 
and I'm using an exacto knife to cut out the back and uh, take out the picture that's in the frame. So now I'm using a knife to push back the staples that are holding the back together. And there are a lot of staples. It is ridiculous how many staples this thing has. So I'm just using a knife to push them back, get them out of the way so I can take the back out. So I thought I'd show you the original price tag that came with this frame. My neighbor got it from Kohl's and uh, it looks like he paid $100 for this frame. I was a little surprised to see that this picture was printed on a piece of cardboard and I don't know if I would have paid $100 for that. Tell me what you guys think down below. Would you have paid $100 for this? Now I'm using some rubbing alcohol to clean the frame really well and it's pretty dirty. I kept the glass in the frame because I wasn't confident enough that I could remove it without breaking it, especially since all the staples are in the way. So I just left it in for now, but I will be removing it later on. Next I'm propping the frame up on some stilts so it's easier for me to paint. Now I'm going to use the last bit of Waverly chalk paint that I have left and I watered it down a little bit so that uh, I will be able to cover the entire frame at least twice. Here I'm using a smaller brush so I can cover the small edges without getting too much paint on the glass. Like I said, I will be removing the glass later on so it didn't really matter if I got paint on it but I tried not to anyway. However, if you're doing this and you want to keep the glass and you happen to get paint on the glass, it's very easy to remove. All I did was get a damp piece of tissue and just wipe it off. Now I'm using the brown paper to cover up the print that came with the frame because I want a neutral background. I added an extra piece of brown paper to extend it and make it longer so that I'll be able to cover the entire print. And I'm wrapping it just like a present and securing it with some masking tape. And here's how I fold the paper around the corners to get a nice, sharp, clean corner. Now I'm going to cut the palm leaf to size and make sure that it fits the frame in the way that looks good to me. I'm pinching it and I'm going to cut it right about here. I think this would make a good size. And then I'm going to cut the excess off. So now I'm cutting off the excess and then I'm going to uh, take another piece of paper that I've cut kind of like a ribbon and then I'm just going to wrap it around so you don't see the tape. Next I'm going to cut some notches in between the folds of the palm leaf because right now it's looking more like a fan than it is like a leaf. So I flipped my leaf upside down and now I'm cutting the triangular notches. Now I'm using some hot glue and some double-sided tape to tape down my palm leaf and keep it in place.
And here's how my very large palm leaf turned out. The palm leaf art from Pottery Barn was priced at $319. Mine was free. Alright guys, that was the end of my video. I had a lot of fun and I'm so glad that you joined me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. And I want to thank Yami and Elena for giving us this opportunity. And I will see you next time. Let's keep being thrifty together.